with me. Hello, welcome to Fast Thoughts with me, Wolfgang. Today we'll be talking about Futari Bear, A Room for Two, a Yuri manga by Yukiko. The story follows two girls, Aowa Sakurako and Yamabuki Kasumi, who both move into their high school boarding house and end up as roommates. Initial friendship transforms into a much closer relationship. The story is simply girls going through high school. It's very much slice of life, with no deeper plot than that. The characters do progress, growing up and developing their relationships, with the story even continuing into the main girl's university years, but there aren't any major events, just two girls and their friends living their lives. The main pair are both entertaining. Sakurako is a very intelligent and fastidious girl who takes care of most of the housework, while Kasumi is much more laid back, putting a minimal amount of effort into everything she does. The pair contrast significantly, but also complement each other as a result. They do, however, feel very much like characters, rather than real people, with Sakurako becoming ever more strangely obsessed with her roommate, to the point of ridiculousness, and Kasumi's incredibly lazy attitude being such that you can't believe she would ever function in reality. However, as characters, they are fun to watch. The minor characters are also not very realistic as people, from the naive Ojo-sama to the annoying little sister, they're mostly trope characters in service to the comedy. They work very well as that, but there's not anything deeper for a lot of them. Some of them do have some character development, resulting in some depth, but even then it's usually not a huge amount. But this is not a manga intending to provide deep character and narrative. It's a light-hearted slice-of-life comedy about a pair of girls who might be gay for each other. It succeeds at all of that, it's funny, it's cute, and I don't even need to put on Yuri goggles to see the romance. While it leans on tropes hard in places, the series is consistently funny and enjoyable. I don't want everything I read to be challenging and deep. I like to have my cute, funny Yuri stories, and that's what this is. On the subject of the artwork, it's fine. As a four-comma manga, it's not trying to be groundbreaking, and mostly kept simple deliberately. There will be occasional, much more detailed panels where the talent really shines through, as well as on the covers, and there are several additional drawings between chapters of the main pair in different outfits the artist couldn't fit into the story. There's clear talent and beautiful work here, it's just that the format of the series means it's not always on display. Overall, this is a series that I love, but that doesn't challenge the reader at all. As a light piece to enjoy and have a laugh at, it's great. For a reader looking for anything deep, this is not the manga for you. I give Futari Bea a 7 out of 10. It always leaves me feeling happy, but it's a very simple kind of enjoyment. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please consider liking the video and subscribing for more fast thoughts. And if there's something you'd like to hear my fast thoughts on, or you have some thoughts of your own on today's topic, please leave a comment below. I'll see you down there.